changed my life, this beer. It changed, I love this beer. It's so good. I go out to a restaurant, and I'm like, you know, I really don't want wine. I want beer, but you know, do you have a good variety of beer, and what's gonna go good with what I'm what having? If you're gonna drink beer, I mean, why would you drink anything else, truthfully? When we were growing up, if you want to say it that way, you get import beers and a few good American beers, but there wasn't anything like it is now. We're strong wine drinkers, but here we order beer because you really have, you use it pretty much like you do a wine. We match it with our food. I just like to learn about the process. The process? How, you know, what goes in beer. And I mean, look at all these beers. I like to know how you all do it. Hi, my name's Sam Calagione. I own Dogfish Head Brewery in Delaware. I'm also on the board of directors for the Association of Brewers. As you know, there are a ton of programs on television today about the wine industry, but there's not a single series out there about our industry and about the great American brewing tradition, which is kind of crazy because there's way more beer drinkers out there than there are wine drinkers. So I'm here today not as the owner of Dogfish Head, but as the host of a brand new television series that celebrates the love of good beer in this country. Welcome to Beer America. Did you know that there's over a million people today making beer in their homes? But it takes something a little more special to become a commercial brewer in one of today's regional breweries. And we took a little time out and met with one of the youngest and brightest stars out there. At 29 years old, Brian Selders is definitely on top of his game. The scope of my job on a daily basis involves everything from ordering raw materials to the usage of those raw materials to um, preparing the beer to be packaged, basically, and everything in between. I became a brewer just out of a love of really, really good beer. I have a bachelor's degree in fine arts because I like making stuff. I just like to create things which I'm proud to share with um, the general public. I think that uh, the American consumer just wants better of everything. They want a better SUV, they want a better dishwasher, they want a better beer, and their taste is just caught up with the rest of the world. I see craft brewing growing, I see the quality of the beers getting better and better. I see more and more people just starting to enjoy craft beers. You tell 10 friends, those 10 friends will tell 10 friends, and then uh, the audience for um, craft beer will just grow and grow and grow. And 
you know, just keep getting bigger. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Fitzpatrick. I own the Blue and Gray Brewing Company, Fredericksburg, Virginia. I think my story is similar to a lot of other microbrews is that I started making beer in my kitchen and then developed a taste for better flavored beer. I always tell people that once you have a better flavored, full flavored beer, it's, you can't go back to drinking what you used to drink. Most folks don't know Virginia was the hop capital of the colonies before there was the Great Pacific Northwest and the, and the boom and growing hops there, they had to be grown here. And a lot of colonial brewers in Virginia was one of the greatest places to grow the hops. And we say we can grow our own hops and you can't get fresher hops and more flavorful hops than if you grow them yourself. We have here are hops uh, in two different stages. These are the dried hops. You have a hop leaf. The big leaf provides energy to what we hope will ultimately be the fruit, and the cone. There are oils inside the hop cone, little pine cones there. Uh, that add a bitterness to the beer, the maltiness of the beer. You have your grain, which imparts a sweetness. The hops impart the bitterness to make a well-balanced beer. These are fresh hops. We just picked these, and you can see that the cones are very tightly formed, which is a good thing. The hops that we grow here at uh, the Blue and Gray Brewing Company are all hops that we use in our beers. Hops generally like a warm climate, a uh, moist climate. Uh, we keep the hops very well watered and the sun here and they, they grow bigger and better every year. Some of the best advice I ever got was from my uncle who said if you want to own and run a microbrewery go work for a microbrewery. It was some of the greatest advice he ever gave me. I didn't follow it but it was really good advice. Oh,